welcome to my channel welcome back to my channel so today's video is about tj maxx and marshall's uh i always shop at tj maxx and marshall's and i see a lot of people pick up a lot of different makeup items from them and sometimes i see makeup stuff sometimes not but i went to philly last weekend so i was in their tj maxx and their marshall's and they had some good stuff so i'm just gonna show you guys what i got let's get right into it so the first thing was these Real Technique sponges. I got four and they were $12.99. I forget how much Real Technique sponges are, if they're $10, if they're $6 or one or the other. I don't know, but either way, this is a steal, get, you know, four sponges for $13. That was just great. Another thing I got is these makeup brushes. Excuse the packaging. I've been trying to open these freaking makeup brushes for the longest and this packaging, like I understand I got one of them out as you can see like where is it I used it for my my makeup I got one of the brushes out but I cannot get these other ones out the plastic hurts like whatever these people are it's basically an eyebrow set like there's a spoolie and then there that's an angle brush and then that's like a concealer brush to clean up under your eyebrows but basically this shit is big too damn hard to open but yeah I got these and they were $3.99 for three brushes so I thought that was a steal so next on to some brushes, I got these brushes, which is the Weekend Festival. They have the Weekend Festival set. It's a 10 piece brush set from BH Cosmetics. Uh, I got it also from, um, this one was from Marshalls. I don't think I showed anything from TJ Maxx. I only got one thing from TJ Maxx, I'll let you guys know. This was from Marshalls and this was $12.99. These are what the brushes look like. They're really pretty and they're pink. They had another set. Um, but that, that set had a lot more, like, face brushes. This set has, let show you guys the back. This set has a lot of eye brushes, and it also has some face brushes, too. But it has a lot of eye brushes. And here are the brushes. I have used two of them already. Here they go right here. I use this one for contouring, and then I use this one for eyeshadow. And I really like them, so... And they're cute, you know, they're really cute brushes. And for $12.99, you get 10 brushes. Like, you definitely can't beat that. So another thing I got from Marshalls was this palette from um, Anastasia Beverly Hills. I've never bought um, any palettes from them. I like makeup, I really do. But I'm just not a person that spends, like, lots and lots of money on makeup because I know there's cheaper things out there that can get the job done just as well and like I have so many eyeshadow palettes me going out and spending $39 or $49 on an eyeshadow palette that's just gonna sit there it's kind of like I work too much like I'm not a full-time youtuber that's always doing my makeup so it's just like you know no reason but this palette was $19 at the Marshall so I was like oh why not and this is the subculture palette you guys probably seen it a million times but it's that velvet packaging and I use this palette today to do my eye look that I got and here oh drop the brush but here is what the palette basically looks like if you guys watch YouTube videos you know what it look like but yeah I just got this I thought it was you know cute and for $19 for basically $20 that's not a bad price for, you know, an Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I'm just not the person that's going to spend regular price on them because I just have so much makeup and palettes at this point. There's no point, you know? So next is the thing that I got from TJ Maxx, and it is the Kat Von D, the shimmer palette. I actually got this for $15. I was like, ooh, $15. Gonna get that. Um, I love this this palette just for its packaging. Like, look at this. I'm sorry, I'm looking at the viewfinder, but look at this. Like, this packaging is beautiful. Okay, and I got the shimmer one, and it looks like this. A lot of like nudes. Sorry, I don't want to blind you guys with the mirror. Put a lot of like nudes in my light. It's kind of like um you know washing the colors out but basically all shimmer nudes um i was gonna get the matte one as well because i got this when i was in philly and i was gonna come home and buy the matte one and i saw it but i was like i like i said i have so many eyeshadow palettes and i love matte shades so i have a lot of matte eyeshadow palettes i just don't need an eyeshadow palette full of neutral colors like i already have the naked palette i have you know other palettes from like juvia's place that have um, naturals in it so it's like i don't really need it but the shimmer one i was like ah, i guess you know i could do i could do 
So last but not least, I'm just going to add in two products that I got from Ulta because it's no point to do an Ulta haul because only two of them. So I got the Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation, which I am wearing today, but I mixed it with the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Foundation because this foundation is kind of too light for me. But the thing that really sold me on this foundation is the applicator. It's a doe foot applicator and I love that. Like if you're not, if you just, you know, using it for yourself, it's great because you can just take the thing and just wipe it on your face. You don't have to put it on the back of your hand. You don't got to squirt it out. You just take it out doop, boop, 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 and put it on your face. You know, if you're a makeup artist, that's not sanitary. You can't do that. But if you're using it for yourself and personal use, then it's just great. I like the foundation so far. So good. It's not my color. I have to mix it. But the shade, I have the shade f13 but f14 was too dark and f13 was too light so i had to like mix it but ah so far so good on that so last but not least probably is one of my favorite things that i bought and it's the smallest but i love it the most um it is this color pop lip gloss oh my god this thing is called it was a double double agent i swatched this at Ulta and i said Oh, this is nice. I saw it in the bottle and I was like, oh, that looks cute. You know, that looks cute. Maybe you guys can see it better down here because like the light washes stuff out. But I was like, this is really cute. And then like I had swatched it on my hand. I was like, oh my God, like it gives you, you know, shimmer, but not too much shimmer. Like I hate um, lip glosses that make my lips look white. Um, I'm darker, so I can't walk around with certain lip glosses because... You know, I'm a dark skinned woman, I'm not white, so I can't, you know, wear certain lip glosses and stuff that have like certain color to them because it just makes my lips look ashy. This right here gives you like a, a purple sparkly, you know, tint and it's just cute. Okay, it's not too much. It's just really good and it's like really glossy. If you guys know the Nika K lip gloss, which is, do I have it? This is the Nika K lip gloss. Um, you guys might be, sorry, I got hair on it. It was in my makeup bag. Um, but you might have seen it in like your local beauty supply store or something. This thing is like super like gloss, like ha, 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 gloss, like oh girl, we see you. Okay, and it just transfers onto everything and it's very, very sticky, but I love it for its stickiness. But some nights I'm not feeling like that. And this right here is very glossy, but not super, super sticky. Like not super, oh, my lips are stuck together, you know? it's really just ooh glossy and real bubbly and I just like it you know I just really like this lip gloss and this is a part of their ultra glossy lip collection so yeah I really like it and it was six dollars so yeah can't beat that so thank you guys for watching this video and check out more of my videos bye guys